Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 51 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And before we get started here, I figured I should probably show off Patch Plaza, since we haven't actually been here in quite a while. You know, this place that shows all our percentages? Yeah. Um, yeah, so you see we have a uh, nice stuff here, 96% of the cast, and uh, over here we have the 92% medals, and we all have these high percentages. But these two right here, the stuff and the fabric, are very, very low for this point in the game, and I was wondering why that was, and if you, like, look at the stuff, you can, like, see we have, like, whole bunches of things missing here, and I'm just like, well, what the hell, man, what the hell's going on? But then, you know what I realized, is actually that all of those, they're not in levels, all of them, no, not like most of the things that we've, uh, well, actually, all of the things that we've seen up to this point, they're actually with these two buttheads down here, the fabric shop and the furniture shop dudes. And I realized that if I truly 100%, I'm going to have to buy all of their fabrics and furnitures out of their shops here. So, um, I debated a little while, for a little while over how I'm actually going to, like, show this, because I still want to show all the fabrics and stuff, but I don't want to, like, sit here for, like, hours going through this with you guys. Well, I don't know what hours, but for a long time. So, I figured that the best way to do it would just be to, um sort of speed montages it since I haven't actually done that in a while since you really don't need to do that too much with the new time limit so um hopefully you guys don't mind and there's really nothing to this basically just elementary just buy the thing you know 300 beads trade there you go and you just buy all these just like that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all these fabrics and all the furniture or at least as much as I, as I can afford which hopefully should be all of it I have like <laughs> hopefully that's enough beads up there 137,000 good lord and, um, I'll be back in a moment. This is? Is this really the last one? Last fabric? Okay. Um, I guess so. Man, that was annoying. I I didn't realize you would have to leave and er exit and re-enter the shop. Sorry, but there was a mad rush earlier. I'm all out of goods. And bads. Ha. Huh. <laughs> nice. Are you seeing something I'm not nice? So that's that. That's it for the fabrics, I guess. There really wasn't as much as I expected there to be. I probably could have just left that whole thing in, but that would have been really boring. And uh, now we're going to do the same thing with the furniture. You can see, see it all here, and uh, this is actually a little bit more expensive, so I don't know if I'll have enough for this, but we'll just see how much there is and get a move on. Looks like we're just about at the end here, guys. 
man, that was a hefty chunk of change for all that furniture. Look at how much that ran me. That, for all the fabric and all the furniture, that almost cost me a hundred thousand beads. Oh my good lord. Just to make sure, let's see. I've never seen it so busy around here. It's great for business, <laughs> except it's the same guy every time. It's like the magic being guy in frickin' Ocarina of Time. Good lord. Ridiculous, man. Totally ridiculous. And, um, hopefully that's all. Hopefully they don't get, like, new things in stock every so often. I'll have to, like, check back there. I don't know about that. Hopefully that's all they have. And, uh, oh my god, look. Look at how high our percentages just jumped. This one jumped from, like, 48 or whatever to 95. And this one from, like, 52 to 93. Jeez. I didn't realize that would make such a huge dent. Good lord. Um, so now, what time am I up to? I'm up to eight minutes of recording. Really? That just didn't feel that long. Oh well. Um, but after all the speeding up, we should have enough time for a minigame. Hopefully a minigame or two from Buster. Because I know he has at least one more for me. So let's go ahead and see what you got, Buster. You threw me for a loop last time with Dark Manor. I was so stupid about that. Now we got Boom Boatyard. 20 enemies in a minute 30. Doesn't sound too daunting, but, uh... <laughs> I don't know, sometimes the worst are disguised as the easiest, so you never know. Ooh, I love this music. The joy, the joyous pirate tunes is great. I'm not sure what it's exactly called. Let's see, oh my god, side-scrolling Frick Frack. Alright, give me your frickin' baton thing. Alright, I guess not. Oh god. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, and I realized finally, after like a lo the longest time, that getting hit in these Buster minigames actually does penalize you. It actually freaking it it like lowers your time. It's ridiculous. I didn't even realize that until like j until I was editing the last video. It's nuts. Like oh my god, how could I have gone for so long without noticing something that freaking <laughs> detrimental to my success? I don't know. I love these guys though with their like Russian s cats. Alright, no, good crap, I'm so dead. Oh no! Wait, am I gonna get that guy? Does that count as a kill? It should, because I actually managed to throw him. Of course, I don't have much time now that I've gotten hit like twice. Almost three times. Alright, oh, how am I gonna get you? Hmm. Oh, there we go, that's how I'm gonna get you. Ha ha. Bye! <laughs> that's fun. Oh god, I didn't mean to take a spear thing. Oh god, okay. I need, I need three more. Three more, come on, scroll faster. Move, move, move. <laughs> yeah, no way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was my fault, I know. Getting hit recklessly and stuff with reckless abandon. It doesn't really seem that that one, like, you have to use too much strategy to get through it. You just have to not get hit, because, like, if you get hit, you lose time. And you need all the time you can get to let the screen scroll all the way to the end. That seems the, like the general gist of this thing. So let's see. So just don't get hit, which I had a hell of a time not getting hit in the, when I actually did this level for real. I remember that. La dee da. I hate how their spears block it too. It's so annoying. Mm. But if you can grab their spear, then that's all the better. Oh god, that almost killed me. Probably should have killed me. But it didn't kill me. So I'm happy about that. I like all these beads too. This is good stuff. Alright. Yeah. This is a little bit uh, tricky though, trying to get, go like maneuver, maneuver from up to, or top to bottom. And trying to get all those guys. Yeah, I've got have to watch out for this now. Oh my god! <laughs> There's no way you can avoid that. That's crazy. Well, apparently there is, because I actually did it. But, <laughs> you get what I mean. It was, it looked very hard to avoid. Like, I just escaped that by the skin of my butt. Yeah, I like this part, because I can just totally kill that guy. Oh, I can't kill that guy on his way down. Damn it. How annoying. See, that's what I mean. There's, she there's freaking spears blocking the stupid things. It's so annoying. It's so underwhelming. Because you expect to, like, kill them with the shot, and then it's like, Oh, you don't. Sorry. No dice, man. No freaking dice. Oh, God. Get- Kill him, dude. Don't you dare. Okay, thank you, God. I started klutzing it up at the very last second there. I was so afraid I wasn't going to get it. But lo and behold, I did it with, like, a good four seconds to spare, too. Maybe three seconds. Yeah, someone pointed out, too, that, uh... 
what was it, in the freaking Cloud Palace uh, Buster minigame that I did last time? I didn't even realize this, but I was within, like, literally, like, about 30 or less mini second, mini seconds, milliseconds, um, of losing. So, that's, that was really lucky when I got that one. I didn't even know. Alright, Evergreen Lift. Didn't we do one of these, a minigame on this one, recently? Feels like we did. Yeah, we did a Beedrix one, didn't we? Oh, boy. 20 enemies in a minute 20. Again? Wow. Actually, I think before it was 20 enemies in a minute 30, but... Alright, yeah, I can't kill these guys. I can't, like, grab these guys, which is really annoying. But I can grab these guys. Ha ha ha! Oh, but they blocked my shots, too, with their parasols. How annoying. Alright, as long as I keep this thing moving, I should be fine. If it stops, then I might be a little bit screwed. That's what I'm thinking. You have to realize that those freaking birds count as enemies, too. Alright, oh, that is that guy gonna die? Yeah, but he is, but it's not gonna count, which means I probably screwed myself out of victory here. In all likelihood. Because at this stage of the game, you have to expect that you're gonna need to kill all of them to beat this. But I'll go ahead and just keep going just to see. Because you really don't know until you've tried, do you? I don't even know what these things are. They're like ducks or something. That's what they look like. Snow ducks. Snow golems. Damn it, that guy got killed too by something other than me. Now keep going. Wait. Dude, 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 dude. I need to get up there. Get up there. Come on. Come on. Kill, kill him. Kill him. Okay, thank you. God. So you really don't need to kill all the enemies. Thank goodness. That was way closer than it should have been, though. Oh my god. I had a minute and... No, not a minute. A second and ten millisecond. Ten, ten milliseconds! Do you stop calling them miniseconds? <laughs> it makes it sound way too cutesy. You know, milliseconds is all daunting and sharp because it's such a small increment of time. But miniseconds is just like, whatever. King DDD fabric. Keep practicing and I'm sure you'll be in good shape for our next training session. Ten! So what does that put me up to? That puts me up to only 14 and a half minutes. So with all the speeding up, I probably could, uh... If there were more minigames, I would do them, but there's not, unfortunately. So, uh... I guess that's gonna have to be it for this episode. Sorry, this might be a little bit short. I don't know. I won't know until I've edited it. Until I've edited it. That's always one of the stupidest words to say, is edited. Because it sounds like you like you get into the first two syllables and then you just start stuttering, but you didn't, don't realize that the stutter is actually part of the word. It's like built into it. It's so dumb. Oh well. So next time, I guess uh, we don't really have any other choice. The only option left to us, the only door we haven't gone through, Castle Deity awaits. So, in episode 52, we'll do that. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.